What's up, everybody? I thought this week we'd do something uh, a little close to home, no pun intended, and I wanted to give you a very special property tour of my New Hampshire quarantine bunker. Bulletproof, fireproof, floodproof, everything. I don't work, which is so peaceful. There's no one here. Hidden. We take our security seriously. This is the New Hampshire quarantine bunker. The house is six bedrooms, six bathrooms on a lake called Dublin Lake in New Hampshire. Uh, it's, it's a lot, there's a lot going on over here, but I thought I'd start down by the waterfront because it comes with 411 feet of lake frontage. Uh, and thank you, Dad, for having this house in the middle of nowhere. It's been great for us here during this whole pandemic. Um, and so when my dad got this place, he called this place Donnie Bristle. Uh, we take our security seriously. Posted, no trespassing, keep out. Can't keep me out, it's my place. That's kind of the main house here and the guest house. Oh man, I miss Adrian. Yeah, so much easier. So my dad's rule kind of always been to buy on high ground. It's safer and you'll never have uh, flooding issues. What it also means is that you gotta hike up these hills. Um, it's hard to see on the video, but we just climbed up that it's a big hill. And New Hampshire is the best place to socially distance because the town we're in was founded in 1752, right? A little trivia for you. And there's not that many people who live here. And Mark Twain, another kind of claim to fame for this town, he used to work in a house right up here where he wrote, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, New Hampshire has been socially distancing since 1752. So this is the main guest house. This is new. My parents built this a couple years ago. Um, because they got the main house over here and they wanted kind of me and my brother and my little brother to have a place where we could hang out. I've turned this cottage while I've been here into uh, my gym and home office. So come on. Cottage. Okay. Here we go. All right. A little bit of a mess. I'm sorry. Kind of the main living space. I got CNBC on here. Uh, this is my mat. But they got some weights over here for the gym. Um, and this is my home office space. So this is where I've been working for the most part. And I know you're gonna think, okay, Ryan, this is not your standard property tour. Uh, it's so messy, but let me explain. One, it's been a little bit weird. Now, all of this here that you can see is for Project Sunshine, which is a charity that Amelia and I uh, give a lot of money to, and we, we donate a lot to. Um, we give back a lot. We don't post about it all the time. So we're making all these kits for all these little kids. Um, they're arts and crafts kits. We've got little journals, uh, these little basketball hoops with balls that they can kind of play with in their hospital bed and a whole bunch of, of other stuff. Now, let me show you the bedrooms because this is also a two bed, two bath, two car garage guest house. So we got two bedrooms here. One's blue themed, one's yellow themed. Blue, yellow. Let's go on the blue themed one. As we come through, we got two good closets, good windows. That's out to that outdoor driveway I showed you. Nice queen bed. Look at this. Outdoors in the woods. Socially distancing like a champ. Little bathroom. Ooh. All right, the yellow room. This is twin beds. This is where Amelia will make me sleep if she's mad at me. Just leave that right there. Filming my own vlogs, let me just say, Casey, I don't understand how you do this. I need Adrian, I need Puma, I need Joe, I need everybody else, like. Now there is something like just really, really, really nice to have this house with a grass, more than just a grass, with a lot of grass and, you know, a fire pit and sky and air and the air here is just so much cleaner it's, I'm very, very, very thankful. I'm very thankful to have this space, that we've been able to have this space uh, for us. You know, it's been fun. Like literally my commute, this is my commute to work. Ready? There's the door. I'm at work. Now these are the gardens uh, in the back house. Um, when times are nicer in the spring and in the summer, these are really, really pretty full gardens here. But right now it's, uh, it's snowed actually all last night. It's crazy to me. Like the weather in New Hampshire, it's, 30 degrees and snowing all night long. And then by 11 o'clock, it's 50 and it's all gone. Like all the snow is completely gone. All right, now we're going to the main house. 
these are the wind chimes here. Um, so we come in the house, got our little uh, stockpile, buy a ton of groceries. Boom, 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 boom. Hello, wife, drinking. Wow. All right, great, keep that in there. Uh, I didn't clean up to do this tour. Um, I wanted to do it all natural, you know? In case this is the last video that ever gets seen about me, maybe this might be our last vlog. Who knows what happens tomorrow? You know, it could be, it could be the end. This is where we eat. The kitchen that my parents redid. Here, it's Amelia. She's been drinking a lot of wine. Uh, the baby's playpen, we brought that up here. So this is where the baby, uh, Zena, puts all of her toys on the ledge there. In the morning, she loves coming and knocking them all over. This is, this is the baby's duck. She likes riding this duck and she goes in it and she waits because she wants duck rides. What? Wait, where are you? I don't even see you. What do you say? Do people need to know that on your property? Do people need to know what? About the duck? Is it, are you just showing where you're quarantined? This is the New Hampshire quarantine bunker. Oh. She's not even involved in my life. Oh, oh, hi, hi. Zena, did you just say hi? Hi. This is my baby. This is Zena. Zena, you want to give a property tour? Where did I go? You want to give a property tour? Hmm? Huh? Who's my little rabbit? You want to show all your toys? You want to show your toys? And the main floor of the main house has this great circulation because it goes all the way around kind of the core, right? So you've got this stairwell core and laundry room that's in here that takes you downstairs. Uh, and then you circulate around kind of the outdoor space. You got the kitchen. What? You're stealing all my thunder. Oh my gosh, my... What? You're stealing my thunder. I was here first. What? Is it where we play piano? Zena, you want to show him play piano? Look. Let's see. Let's see. What are we playing today? What do you want to play? What do you want to play, Zena? What if I'm up here? What this? property tour I've ever made, but also the best. All right, we got a fireplace, flat screen, and a beautiful view out to the lake. Maybe we could do like a real cool like, but out here we got this really cool deck, I'll show you. The deck space is really cool. I grilled for the first time ever, never grilled before. So many things that we've learned during the big C shutdown. And what's great out here is you can hear birds chirping and you can see all the stars. Not right now because it's daytime, but it's just so peaceful. And there's no one here, no one here. That's why I thought, hey, we gotta socially distance. Hey, we're gonna be quarantined in one spot. Let's go to New Hampshire where they've been socially distancing since 1752. This is my old crib. It wasn't mine, it was my grandmother's. My grandmother's? And your mom's and yours. Oh, it was mine. Crying Ryan did a lot of crying in this crib. And we got two bedrooms up here. And not one, not two, but three bathrooms. Again, it's a little messy, so I don't wanna show you the whole thing, but we've been doing a lot of laundry and kind of unpacking and packing a bit. But good view to the outdoor space. All the bedrooms are really, really good size. Um, and we've got a lot of color themes going on over here. It's actually kind of funny because we keep this door shut. We don't ever go in here. It's just weird for me to go to my parents' room. Um, and let me show you. But all the things that Sina has broken. So she has slowly broken lots of stuff it's a complete disaster and we keep it over here she's broken more lamps everything uh, it's my parents dressing room their bathroom and then another big view to the outdoor space which is pretty nice and down here hidden is the lower level this is yeah good views and everything we got other bathrooms down here Again, this is just set up as storage right now. Um, but bulletproof, fireproof, floodproof, everything. Um, and it's all ready to go. It's all on the, the interior walls. We got a lot of stuff in here, like all my old ties, I think I've been putting in here. And we got a few more bedrooms and things down here. Uh, when I first started really selling apartments, you know, and I had 
extra money, what I really wanted to do was buy people gifts. So every Christmas I started like really getting people cool, cool gifts, you know? And I got my dad this signed uh, golf ball by uh, Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas, and Tiger Woods. Um, Cause he's a big golf guy. Uh, we also have this awesome thing. Let me show you here. The famous interception, Patriots, Seahawks, the catch. The interception is signed by Malcolm Butler. It's awesome. And then this is one of the other bedrooms with all the baby stuff and diapers and we're getting everything ready. Again, good views. So that's it. That is my New Hampshire quarantine bunker, the panic rooms and all. Um, that is the end of this week's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. We will be back very soon and we might even be back in New York City. So just you wait.